Hello, this is Nikot the Brave, and today we are going to be playing The Legacy, Realm of Terror, which is a, a DOS game. Um, it's like an RPG dungeon crawler survival horror game. Uh, it, it came out in uh, 1993, and it's pretty fun. Um, so that's what I want to play today. <laughs> That was a wonderful uh, opening sequence, don't you think? Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, so I'm mostly going to be playing without sound. Um, it, the music kind of sucks. Um, it's annoying sometimes. The sound effects, as you hear, are terrible. Um, so I'll probably be putting some music in the background uh, while I play. But um, this isn't going to be like a... Uh, blind playthrough. I played through this a couple days ago, um, and I'm gonna try to do some cool strategies or, or whatever to, um, to, I don't know. It's not speed running, but I, I, I want to try to beat it pretty quickly. Um, so we're gonna start. Uh, it brings us with this uh, a newspaper, and we have a chance to change our. Uh, character and each of these uh, portraits or people um, that we can choose have their own uh, uh, backstories like this one I believe he's a university student um, uh, and there's a, a lot of different uh, different characters that you can choose from I'm gonna be choosing this guy but we'll go through each of the uh, the characters and uh, they each have their own starting stats, but you can choose your own stats. We'll, we'll see that in a moment. I just want to go through all the, uh, the portraits that you can choose from. Alright, we're almost there. Um, I'm playing this on DOSBox, uh, 7800 cycles, um, uh, because that seems to be a decent frame, I, I mean not frame, but uh, speed to uh, run the game. Uh, so right now, uh, you know, this is the character select screen, or character creation screen rather. I'm going to uh, redesign our character and we'll go through what each of these stat points mean in just a moment. Um, I'm going to be naming myself Speedcot. Oh. Uh, where is my caps lock key? Come on. Whatever. I'll just name myself Nikot then. Okay. Um, so, as you see, we have uh, our skill points and spell points uh, tab that used to have a thing there. Now it doesn't. You need a certain amount of willpower. And willpower d dictates the amount of uh, skill points that are naturally put into spells, as well as uh, how much um, uh, like magic power you have. Um, so we'll go put some uh, points into willpower, and you can see we got we got a new spell. And this is good because I, I wanted these two spells anyways, but. So, with, uh, you can see this, like, bar right here. If you, uh, add skill points to it, that means that you can, uh, possibly 
uh, cast powerful spells more successfully because you can fail to cast spells and it'll waste your magic power um, and that's a pretty important resource. So in attribute points we have uh, three main um, skill attributes. You have knowledge, dexterity, strength. Each of these don't really do anything by themselves. If you increase them, they'll overall increase the uh, the amount of skill points in each of the uh, attributes that it dictates. Um, but uh, we're going to be bypassing most of that stuff anyways. I'm going to put some points into stamina because that's health and we kind of need health and I'll put two points into dexterity because that's going to be our main focus for physical skills we'll put some points into firearms and blade and then put a bunch of points into meditation and first aid I'll put take some out from there first aid first aid and then two points into Flames of Desolation. And this should uh, give us a good amount of uh, things uh, to start off, but I, I guess I'll explain how each of these skills are. So, Brawling is like a skill where you can use your unarmed attacks more effectively. It's pretty useless. Club. Uh, you can use a bunch of club type weapons, which there's quite a few, but they're very low powered uh, compared to the later weapons uh, that are governed by like blade and firearms. So it gets outclassed pretty quickly. Um, force allows you to force doors that are locked. Um, we don't really need that right now. Uh, we'll eventually get a spell that can do this for us. Um, failing a force check will uh, it'll basically hurt your character um, and health being a limited supply basically it's not going to be a good thing to choose um, I mean, well to do you know failing is bad and I don't want to save scum too much here uh, lift is useless I, I have no idea what the skill does uh, so I'm just going to pretend that it doesn't exist. Electronics. Apparently there's some kind of electronic doors. Um, I never actually encountered... Oh, actually I might have encountered one. But basically if you have the key to it, you shouldn't have any issues. First aid is very useful to heal yourself. If you have a low first aid skill, you're more likely to not heal anything or heal a low amount. Um, and meditation is the skill where you uh, you can use these uh, these things uh, crystals to restore your magic power, which is uh, very important to you know your offensive skills and your defensive skills like this uh, mechanics is to use uh, it, it helps with mechanical uh, locks on doors when you get a mechanic set you can pick door door locks and stuff like that but whatever um, now blade is pretty important because that's going to be our main source of weapons that we are going to be using. They're the best uh, melee weapons in the game. Um, and eventually, probably like the most useful tools ever. Dodge is not important, but it helps us to get around. Basically, it allows you to move past enemies that are in your way that you don't have... Uh, <coughs> that, that, that you don't want to engage. Because if you are within the same square of an enemy you're basically locked there until you pass a dodge check to get out or they die or if it's not uh, hostile then you won't get stuck at all firearms that's important because it can save us magic power which is our main offensive thing uh, especially in early game because we won't be getting blade weapons until way later uh, throwing is decent. It's important, 
uh, for us the for, for the beginning because there are a couple of enemies that we need to throw some things at to destroy them quickly and uh, as I've stated stamina increases your health basically and it also kind of increases magic I think uh, willpower also kind of does the same thing no it, it just increases magic all right um, so yeah we'll go accept this character and yes and we'll start so I'm not going to be reading many of the uh, the papers I, I might do a, a real playthrough uh, sometime later because uh, like like this it's it's, a, it's important to know or well it's just like backstory um, but it, you don't really it, it's not needed for what I'm doing right now so and this game has uh, copyright protection uh, give me a second I'll uh, deal with this all right so it's your yeah okay so this game has uh, modifiable windows and things you can uh, expand these and it'll show uh, or, or can you know increase or decrease in size I already have a layout that I like that I'm going to be using uh, it's basically this uh, I'll, I'll always be using this uh, and right now I'm gonna turn off music and sound because uh, it kinda sucks uh, I, I, I don't want you guys to be listening to this it, it'll drive you crazy <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure some people might like it uh, it's not my favorite thing to listen to so you move around with a WSAD uh, WSAD keys with uh, turning with Q and uh, turning with R uh, I mean E and you click on things to open stuff, or you can right-click on things to look at things, uh, or get stuff, or use items. And I am going to be modifying my layout, not well, my inventory setup, quite a bit. And so, as you can see, we move around with this map, and it'll automatically... Uh, open up I mean not well it'll draw in areas that we've been to uh, it's not very useful since you can't add notes or anything like that uh, you can move it around but other than that you know it's fairly useless you can pick up items off the floor as you saw earlier I picked up this briefcase this briefcase is your main inventory you'll almost always be carrying it around and so you know, because it adds, I think, uh, one to 14 inventory slots, I believe, which is a lot, especially since these uh, four inventory slots up here don't allow you to carry items that, you know, take up like one by two uh, inventory slots. You can only have items that take up one by one within these. So I'm going to go in here. And there's this uh, item that's very useful in the beginning. Uh, it basically allows you to pa bypass monsters. Uh, and you'll see them pretty quickly. Uh, this zombie up here, which I don't want to deal with. Uh, and this thing. Uh, this, uh, for the first few encounters... Damn it. That's not good. That is not good. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. There we go. All right, pick this up, put it in your hand. There we go. Whew. Okay, so these uh, zombies, now that I have this, th they won't attack me, but for some reason they seem to be attracted to my position. Um, let me go pick up these items real quick. If this thing would get out of my way. All right, it it's sometimes hard to pick up items due to the way that they're small. Now this thing right in front of me, that is, uh, 
it's it's like a beholder. I, I, I don't know the specific term um, that they're called, but they're not uh, malicious unless you attack them, in which case they'll always be uh, uh, enemies. Come on. Alright, so I'm picking up some items. Which I'll be using to break open that display case that we saw before. So I'm going to unequip this hand. I believe it's a juju fetish. Uh, created by Voodoo Priest to protect the user from the walking dead. I'm going to use my newly equipped... Uh, screwdriver, I think it's called a poker, to break open this glass case. At least I should try. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm going to leave that there because I don't actually need it. Uh, it's used for a puzzle later on. And uh, this is going to be our main, like, hub. So I'm going to put some items down uh, because we are going to come back later for it when we get weapons and stuff. Okay, so this key ring is pretty important because we can put keys on it well. And that saves us time and it's a quick and easy way to manage your inventory uh, slots. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Okay. So, this is a puzzle that can get you off guard. It got me off guard last time I played. Uh, you have these two things that kind of look like... Th they're basically trap doors. But you can click on these and they'll disappear. And keys are pretty important for progression in this game. So... Whenever you get a chance to pick one up, always do. So, this is our first firearm. It kind of sucks. But it'll allow us to save some... Uh, bullets. Well, not bullets. Our uh, magic points. Which I'll explain in a little bit. Come on. Keys and things on the ground can be hard to pick up sometimes. So if I fumble around, it's due to that. You know, it's kind of like pixel hunting, but worse in every way. <laughs> Alright, so this is our first glass of uh, holy water. This is going to be integral to defeating some enemies early on that we will definitely want to just uh, destroy immediately. And this is our first crystal. Now this is pretty cool. Uh, this is what we use to uh, regenerate our magic points. And I guess now would be the perfect time to talk about our magic points. So let me go unequip our juju fetish. When we uh, equip our uh, spell book, which we can write new spells into when we find them, will have um, thing, and we can cast these at various levels. We can view them and increase experience for them, um, and we can also prepare them. I've never actually had to prepare any spells. I think it's to uh, save them for later or something. I, I, I don't really need to use that feature. But as you see, we have this, uh, this little button here, which can go to our stats screen, which we can increase our stats from here. <clears throat> or increase our spell level. Uh, at the moment, we don't really need to 
modify that. But we're, we're just collecting things on this first level because they're important and they're easy to collect with this uh, hand that we have. Bullets. No, no, no. There we go. Alright. I don't think you can pick up things while an enemy is in your square. Or at least I've always had extreme troubles uh, trying to pick up stuff when an enemy is, like, on you. Alright, so this is a mechanic that we probably won't ever have to uh, deal with, and it's uh, food and sleep. Uh, eventually, while you start playing, you'll, you'll, your character will get uh, tired enough to want to rest, and then you'll afterwards you'll need to eat something. Uh, it's, it's, it should be a more important mechanic in the game, because we have, you'll, you'll end up with way too much food than you'll ever use. Like my last playthrough, I only used one of these things, and uh, I tried playing for a very long time, so it, it's not a mechanic that I, I think we'll end up uh, interacting with to, to a degree. <clears throat> so like right here, uh, there are various floors that you can go to. Uh, you know, it's a dungeon crawler. This is the first floor, ground floor. Now, this is a door that's locked. We can unlock it with the key. This guy's gonna go popping out. Uh, we're gonna go... and bring him over here, because he can trap you in here. And it's not fun to be trapped, ever. <laughs> So, we're gonna go pick up some stuff. This, uh, leather pouch is gonna be, uh, vital later on. Oh, come on. Leave me alone, zombie freaks. Alright, nothing in here. Alright, and sometimes you'll encounter uh, areas where, you know, it's like a, a built-in scene. This particular scene is kind of weird because everything's off proportion just a bit. Um, but you can examine certain things in here and interact with stuff. Like, there's the gramophone. I think you can do something with it. Or maybe not. Um, but, as you can see, like, there's a thing, animated swinging thing in the background. You can open up this and see that there's a, a dead guy. Um, a blonde man. It, it, you never, I don't really know if you ever find out who he is, and I don't think it matters. Um, so, there's a dumbwaiter here that we're going to open up. There's a head going to be falling out. Click on it, and we'll get this uh, thing. It's a, a shrunken head. And it's going to be important uh, very later on. Like, it's uh, a thing where you... It, it's a vital item for you to win the game, basically. So... I guess I'm loading. Alright, so... Why is my thing... Occasionally, you'll run into weird rooms that do weird things with your, uh, with your, your camera, and, you know, it, 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 it's just annoying. You don't, it, it, it's not, like, game-changing. Uh, there are several puzzles where you need to take this into account, like you need to walk backwards, or or you have to uh, turn in a certain direction to 
uh, avoid things from happening. And now this this brings up a point. Uh, occasionally the power will go out in a sp sp specific level. And in this case, for a very long duration, this level is going to be basically pitch black. And you're not going to see anything. Uh, you can modify this by equipping like a torch, which is right here on the ground. Uh, but we're not going to be dealing with that right now, at least. So we are going to go back here and drop off some of our stuff. Because we don't need it just yet. Um, drop off our magic crystals. We'll put one right here. Drop off our uh, things. And I'm going to see how much ammo this has. Six bullets, that's fine. We're going to re-equip that. Uh, I'll put the uh, meat over there. Got it. And so, I'm not exactly sure what these rune stones are for. I've never had to use them. So, I don't think we need to. Alright, so we're going to go down here. And open up this door. Get the torch. It's a flashlight, but... Well, it used to be called torch, but I guess it is <laughs> anymore um it, yeah whatever all right so picking up some more items got this and i think i'm stuck this kind of sucks So this inc this uh, brings us to our first encounter in the game, which is not very cool. All right, so I'm gonna unequip this, and I'm probably gonna get hit. Uh, I'm gonna hope that I can kill this guy quick enough that I don't have to deal with him. Okay, there. Um, that's basically combat. You hit somebody, or you can aim between two or more people. Um, it rolls a chance to hit, and uh, I should have known, because I think that got me before. before. And uh, the larger the the blood splash, the, the more damage that they've done to you. Uh, it's pretty basic RPG stuff. I think this is important. No, it's not. There's a specific thing that I want to get. It's called the music sheet. Uh, it's for a, not a puzzle, but uh, it's important for something later on. I think I can open up this. That leads downstairs. this. Alright, so I think it's right here. Yes, the music sheet. Alright. Okay, and that's basically it for the uh, first level. Uh, we'll put this down here with our other quest items. And... I, I, we don't need additional bullets. So, I guess we'll just move up to the next floor. Alright, so I'm gonna save. I'll just save one that one. Overwrite. Right. 
and then we'll go upstairs. This is the second floor. Uh, lights are off. Um, and this is where we're going to be f meeting our first uh, NPCs. But in, in this case, you, you'll notice something's funny because like she's not looking at us. And she's trying to uh, get us into walk into these uh, these traps right here. You can see the blood splatter. Uh, that means that it's uh, it's just an indication that it's a trap. Uh. Oh, okay. All right. This isn't that bad. Or maybe it is. There we go. No, 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 don't hit. Okay, good. Right, is it locked? Okay, I got it open. That's good. Alright. So, this is where our holy water comes in. I forgot to bring the other ones up, so I'll have to go uh, get that. This is a book. I don't think there's anything interesting in it. Alright, I'll just leave it. But this is one thing that we'll need to do. We need to burn this picture because uh, otherwise there's going to be ghosts up here. And uh, again, they're only able to be defeated with holy water. And we only have a limited supply of that. So uh, solving this puzzle is pretty important to... Uh, survival basically we are going to save the game again because this can get tricky if we get hit too many times all right so we've got two vials of water that's the thing. I'm going to go downstairs again and pick up the rest of my vials and water, the holy water that I put onto the ground. And I'm going to I'm going to have to do this quite a few times during the run since I haven't optimized this yet. Just so that, you know, I I don't end up dying. Come on, there we go. Can you throw this down? I don't need this for right now. We'll put that there. Revolver speed load. Since this is an old DOS game, occasionally rendering artifacts happen, or and can block uh, the rendering of certain items on the ground. All right, so I'm gonna try to get our first set of armor, which is right here. Now this should help us survive a lot in the beginning. We'll get an armor upgrade later. Actually, all right. Thought there might have been a secret there. Got some crystals to uh, take. So, we're going to throw the holy water, and we're going to wait for the one dude to pass by, 
even though this guy can continuously hit us and we were unable to successfully kill him. There we go. All right. Now that that's done, we'll pick up the holy water that we weren't successfully able to throw, and we will save again. I'm saving a different slot this time. We're going to go in here and... Uh, kill another one of these things. Now, each time we kill something, we will get additional experience. Um, but, that, as you can see, my experience bar is, bar is full, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a... It, it fills up, but, you know, it, it still keeps on going, even if it is full. As you can see, I can't increase my willpower right now because I do need more experience to increase that. Even though the bar is full, uh, it's kind of difficult to explain. <clears throat> okay, so... For this puzzle, we want to walk in a certain direction. Uh, so, we'll be teleported around this little section over here, and we want to walk through each of the doors that say one through six or seven. We're trying to find number five right now. Okay, so we got that. <clears throat> and we got our first, or well, our second statue piece, which we'll be using to clear out s or banish some enemies. There we go. Alright, so here's some shotgun shells. I think this is a key. Locked. Unlocked. Got some more ammo. Alright, so that was uh, basically a puzzle. Okay, we don't have enough XP to uh, do that yet. And we are going to uh, open up one of these doors because this is the seventh plaque. And now we encounter this woman, which we saw uh, walking around earlier, but... Uh, 
this time, you know, we, we can talk to her because uh, that other thing was an illusion and it's still going to be there after this person leaves. This is the door leading up to the third level. Uh, I guess it's still locked. Oh well. This is an oil can. We don't really need it because we're never going to be lighting an oil. Uh, thing. Uh, this is a different room, uh, but it doesn't hold the key item that we want, so we're just going to ignore it for now. There's several of those rooms around there, so... Uh, it's not terribly important if you miss one. And this is another gun. It's a different type of gun, even though it looks the same. This is a Colt 10 revolver. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 10 revolver. They take different ammo types. So, yeah. I'm going to... Okay, there. We can increase our willpower. And I'm going to increase our first aid. And I think that's all that I want right now. So that's fine. We'll save. Because I might save scum just a bit. Alright, so we're going to be using our healing kit. As you can see, we, we can fail to use the healing kit. Which uh, it sounds like we're failing a lot. Which is why we save scum. <laughs> I don't like doing this, but if we fail to bandage five times in a row, that's kind of that's kind of sucky. <laughs> All right. All right. So we got two. We need one more. All right. So that's enough for right now. We we failed to use it three times, but or I don't know. Maybe I'll just use the rest of them. Okay, it's it's done now. We'll go take this. Go open up. Click on this so that we can teleport. And this so we can uh, teleport to there. Go forward, and we're gonna go downstairs to. Put our stuff back because we ha we have a full inventory. We we don't need a full inventory right now. And we're gonna go explore the rest of the area. Uh, pick up one of the health kits that we left. All right, so I'll put this down here, right here. We'll. Put this gun in the middle. Put this gun also in the middle. Uh, I'll keep those. Put our ammo over there for the uh, revolver. We'll put our things over there. Put this down here. We don't need that right now. We'll pick this up. How many does this have? Three bandages. I guess we can try to use it. Well, okay, we, we're full of health now. I guess we'll put that down there. I think this one should have eight. 
six. That's fine. Okay. So, let's see. Click this. Go for, okay. I don't think I'll pick that up. I don't need to. Okay, there we go. Throw. There you go. You're dead now. Alright, now this is a puzzle that just requires a single thing. This is a, a spell book, and we can uh, learn this. I, I'm not sure if it actually does anything for us right now, but it'll add that spell to our uh, spell book over here that we can use if we didn't have it previously. Uh, how many? Four bandages. It's fine. It's a piece of paper. Uh, nothing secret. I think I can open this. It's that room. I don't think that's able to be opened. <sighs> ah, damn it. Okay. So I messed up there because I couldn't remember if. Uh, this was one of the places where your movement is reversed. I, I always mess up. I can't tell when it happens. So I'm, I'm like pressing the uh, back button to go forward right now. Or, or left, right. I'm just going to be using these keys to see if there's anything that I can get. Another health kit. Uh, wrong. Uh, nothing there. This is a plaque. It's for a puzzle uh, on the fourth floor. And this is important because that's a this is a puzzle for a, a teleporter that we'll be needing to use uh, later on. Can I open this now? There we go. Alright, got a key. And I think we can open up these uh, doors now. No, I guess not. Never mind. There's some more holy water. I think I've already been here. Yes. Already, and that's basically uh, floor two. We'll be uh, exploring this a bit later. The VHS type is pretty important. That's uh, used for there. And not every room up here uh, has like anything important to do, so uh, or, or has anything in it. So while I, I'm checking everything out, you don't need to. As you can see, the 
the breaker here is still broken. We'll deal with that later. Five health kits, which is good. Uh, I don't think I need this right now, but maybe I'll keep it. We'll put the baseball bat somewhere else. And so, as you can see, like this painting here, it's a warlock being burned at the t at stake. It's uh, related to uh, some lore in the game, but specifically, there's this thing right here. Fragments of green glass shattered around the edge, and luckily we have a, a gem, which looks like it's chipped, and we can just put it in here, and, you know, it solves the puzzle. We get some XP. Uh, I think we'll put it into first aid, <clears throat> and that should be fine for right now. And I think we can drop some of these uh, vials of holy water right now, since we don't need them and we will pick up our guns because we are going to be shooting some things pretty soon actually I'm going to drop the, uh, the plaque down here we don't need it right now. And we'll go zip up onto uh, floor three real quick. Which is going to have a totally different look and feel than every other floor. Uh, each floor is basically pretty unique. Uh, with the second and third, I mean the first and ground and first floors, if you're in the UK. Uh, being uh, the most similar in uh, uh, like style and this is going to be the uh, the asylum and it looks like an asylum insane asylum for sure yeah and this is going to be one of our first enemies we're not going to kill this one because it's you know we don't need to um, but we are going to put that away for right now and we're going to have to kill some of these later but first we are going to uh, attack this person alright so this is Smith and Wesson She's dead. Uh, we'll need to pick up these for a quest later. Well, a uh, thing that we'll need to do. It's not necessarily a quest. Uh, I'm going to save my game right now because I think this is the trap. And we'll go put this down. We'll go take this out. There we go. Whoops. dead now. Oh, we failed to cast the spell a couple times, but we'll deal with it. As you can see, all these things are locked. They're basic. You can't force them. They're like very securely locked. Um, if you have an electronic lockpick, you can uh, try to pick them, but we'll be getting the key to it later. So it's not terribly important. This is another weapon. Uh, it's an axe. It's not a blade weapon. It's a uh, what you call it? Um, a club weapon, which you know doesn't make sense, but uh, that's how this game is. 
That's not what I wanted to do. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. There we go, it's dead. What did I do? That was right here. What's this? Piece of paper. It's a uh, quest item. I don't think there's anything else here. This is pretty important for later. And I guess right now would be a good time to go shoot some things. To go waste some of our bullets. As you can see, our, our weapons don't really do any damage to these people. So shooting the, uh, the straight, uh, the uh, the ones that are basically like locked on a particular point, are going to be our best uh, way to use these there we go now we can go pick up some more items we're we'll save coming towards us. And it's dead now. Alright. So, I think this is where we're going to take off right now. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me play this. And I hope that I put music in so that it's not as boring. Uh, because, you know, obviously no sound is kind of, you know, no sound. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Uh, be sure to join me. My name is Nikot the Brave, and uh, have a wonderful day.